going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. So this was a really good month of August for, with dividends. So right now, um, just looking at my E-Trade and M1 Finance, it was a very good month. And I'm going to reveal to you the passive income. I'm going to give you some ideas that I may do with my dividend investing strategy, specifically on E-Trade, because there are some things that I want to get to, and I have certain goals with passive income, with uh, dividend stocks. Um, I love making monthly dividends. My goal is to earn $1,000 to $3,000 a month in my monthly dividends and $2,000 to $4,000 a month. My quarterly dividends, hopefully that'll be higher than I plan on uh, doing, but you know that's a certain goal that I want to have. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check out my passive income for the month of August right now. This is a pretty good month of August, and July 29th set the tone. I received some dividends from Fepi. In August 2nd, I earned some passive income with Jeppy, 1211, IWMY, 4529, QQQY, 2312, plus 3837. Finally, I got some dividends from Lowe's. I did provide my rationale, so check out some of my videos. And I'm going to post a little bit more videos on dividend stocks. Yes, I've been posting a lot on QDTE and XDTE and implementing that in my strategy, but, you know... Dividend growth always wins. Dividend stocks always win. So British American Tobacco, 1186. BITO, ProShares Bitcoin Strategy, ETF 1447, plus 29 cents. Uh, MSTY, the yield max, MSTR Option Income Strategy, ETF, uh, 240.99. AMDY, I made 18.56. TSLY, I made 59.45. FBY 2038, CONY 33616, CONY has been going down, and I actually did sell CONY for NVDY, I am back with NVDY, will I re-add CONY? Probably, but, you know, I'm really excited with the QDTE and XDTE, and adding RDTE once it comes, SQY 2430, Enterprise Product Partners, I made 3069. Citizens Financial Group 2546. Hessa Midstream 1389. One Oak 1177. Agree Realty Corporation 241. Kinder Morgan 92 cents. NNN REIT 2436. Allies 1689. AbV 549. Hormel Foods 847. Procter & Gamble, 437. Let me change that. And we got MPLX. I made $22.95. One Main Holdings, $42.74. Premier Financial Corp, $26.92. Energy Transfer, $125. Yes, I am getting up there. Hercules Capital, $23.60 plus $4.72 plus $0.05 cents plus $0.26 cents. And you're starting to see the QDTE and XDTE investing strategy kick in. QDTE, I made 1666 on August 23rd. XDTE, 207. And then I got some dividends from Citigroup, 361. And then Runaway Growth Finance, 3627 plus 453. And I provided my rationales as to why I bought the Bank of Montreal. So 468 minus 70 cents, that's a Canadian dividend stock. Fepi, the Rexfane Invitation Equity Premium Income ETF 1436, Conagra Brands 918. And then you got some XDTE on August 30th, which was 37, excuse me, 1378. And QDTE, which was 2031. And I squeezed in a Starbucks dividend as well, and I made $9.16. So I'm going to show you my total passive income for the month of August real quick. The nice thing about M1 Finance is it now shows you how much you've earned per month. So this has been a pretty good month of 
$1,247.88. And again, this is just for the month of August. So looking at my trends, January, I made 1000 106, February 937, March 1,455, April was a big one, 2,196, May was 1,410, June was uh, 1,711, July was 1,540, and August was 1,247. So, of course, I'm going to reinvest my dividends. I would be crazy not to do that. My pending income is 117.59. Now, it says estimated income. I think that's the leftovers um, that's supposed to come in at 5,092. Now that's not given in stone because QDTE and XDTE, it goes up and down. The yield max ETFs go up and down. You just don't know. The average monthly income is $1,401.36. So let's look at 2023, how I was doing. My total income for 2023 was $6,387.09. My average monthly income was $532.26. So what I did, a lot of you guys are new to my YouTube channel. I threw in $500 a week at the start of 2023. $500 a week. Now I'm throwing in right around $350 and going from there. Um, I'm going to start loading up. I may do... Pre I, what I may do is max out my IRA a little bit earlier and maybe just do it in sequences or max it out next year. And then do weekly payments on UDTE, XDTE, and RDTE. I'm hoping AIPI is added to M1 Finance because I want that mo that monthly passive income to buy my dividend growth stocks. If I can do that, I will be in very good shape at buying dividend growth stocks, reinvesting the dividends, and letting that dividend snowball effect kick in. Now, the thing about QDTE and XDTV, as I said in my previous videos, the consistency of passive income, you can make 30 cents one week and then 10 cents the next week. I need a little bit of consistency when it comes to earning passive income with um, some of these. Um, ETFs, they're very volatile. I'm very excited for these new ones that are coming out that are focused on stocks. And, and again, with these synthetic calls, it's up and down. So there's a big risk. And again, you know, as I said before, I'm not going to be confirming that I'm long in these ETFs. You know, there's a high expense ratio. They provide great passive income. Don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, there's some consistency and really QDTE and XDTE have not been challenged yet. So you got to think about that a little bit when it comes to investing. And, you know, looking at Starbucks, looking at Kroger, looking at um, Procter & Gamble, you know, that's very exciting as a dividend growth stock. You're seeing the hikes. You're seeing the consistency. So I'm very excited to um, start. I mean, I'm 39 years old. I have plenty of time to get to my goal. I'm hoping to get at least maybe 50,000 or above in dividend income, or maybe 60 if I get really good dividend growth stocks. Of course, there's no guarantees, but reinvesting the dividends, buying and holding. I should be in good shape. Now, I'm going to jump to E-Trade, and I'm going to explain to you certain things that I'm planning on doing. So let's check that out. So looking at my passive income that I've earned, I earn 1819 in Gladstone Investment Corp., 43 in Realty Income, EPR Properties, 3929. 3238 in Main Street Capital, and 1608 in Horizon Technology Finance, Arbor Realty Trust, $306.76, which, of course, I reinvested into Arbor Realty Trust. So a few things I may do, and I'm really thinking about this. One, Horizon Technology Finance, I may put that money into Main Street Capital every month. Okay, I may do that in dividends 
and put it in Main Street Capital every month. EPR properties. I may put the passive income in EPR properties into Realty Income. Arbor Realty Trust. The passive income from Arbor Realty Trust, I may put in Realty Income. So that's one thing I've thought about doing. I also may add QDTE, XDTE, and RDTE in here. So I can use that passive income weekly to buy um, Realty Income. So I want to get to 200 shares with Realty Income. Yes, I'm reinvesting the dividends. I want to... Um, I want to focus also in, I think what I may do, you know, realty incomes, passive income is fantastic. Okay. But, you know, I need to also look at, um, I'm sorry, realty incomes really great, but I want to also look at Agree Realty Corporation. They've done extremely well. And I may add them on here. I do have them on, um, do have them on M1 Finance. But could I put them on here, use the passive income from the other monthly dividends and build that one up a little bit faster so I don't have to worry about that? That's one thing that I'm actually thinking about doing is building up, you know, realty income a little bit faster building up um, Main Street Capital a little bit faster. And, you know, it's still nice. I mean, you know, making 1819 Gladstone Investment Corp. Um, EPR, I mean, they haven't hiked their dividend in a while. I just have a really good headache to do or think about once I'm done with um, boards. So, you know, it's nice to get passive income and realty income, but it's also nice to have really consistent dividend growers because Horizon Technology Finance hiked their dividend, but it's not like too exciting. So could I put that passive income into M1 Finance? I don't know yet, but it's a really good headache to have. I mean, I'm making $43 a month with realty income. I'm making almost $40 a month with EPR properties. So it's good to have a headache to have. So I just wanted to show you my passive income and I made a total of $1,703.58 in dividends. Um, PFLT, maybe it'll be on here. I don't know. I mean, can I add it on M1 Finance? That's one that I looked at I did tell you, and I'll say this right now, I'm not because I'm upset, but I wanted to turbocharge my dividend portfolio. At the end of September, I'm going to be rebuying WP Carry, CTRE, and I'm trying to, I forget which other one I sold, but I sold three of them, and I'll be rebuying them. Um, I think it was a good move to turbocharge QDTE and XDTE, and I could rebuy them, and I'll be fine with the passive income that I'm earning each month, because again, I do have a lot of shares. Everybody's um, a lot of shares in certain stocks, a lot of holdings. So my investing strategy is different than yours. And there's a big risk when it comes to investing. So you have to be aware of that. You know, I can take a hit if Arbor Realty Trust goes bad, or if the Yield Max ETFs go bad, or if QDTE and XDTE go bad, or if, you know, I'm very well diversified, but, you know, there's a risk. And I'm super aggressive with my investing strategy. Other people might not want to be that aggressive. Now, of course, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Disclaimer in the description. And, of course, you want to go see a investment, uh, some, somebody that's certified to give financial advice, and somebody certified to give tax advice, okay? Now, I do own these shares, and I also want to say, you know, confirm that, but, you know, there's always a risk to anything, everything, so you don't have to buy stuff because I buy it. I'm just showing you my passive income journey. 
If you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. I will have a video for you more tomorrow. Take care and have a good one. And I'm going to jump to my disclaimer. So as a reminder, this is a disclaimer. Do not use my YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. It's strictly for entertainment purposes only. Investing is a big risk. You can gain money, you can lose money. So be aware and do your due diligence. It is best to seek financial advice from a financial advisor and tax advice from a tax advisor. So for so go to them for financial advice, go to them for uh, tax advice. Don't use my channel. You should not use any of my videos, any of my social media posts, anything I do to be any form of financial advice. So you have to be aware and do your due diligence and you can lose money. So take care and have a good one and I will see you tomorrow.